Hello everyone, hope that you're having a great day. Wanted to take a few moments and share a couple of sneak peek deals at CVS starting June 25th. So if you like a little sneak peek of deals, definitely give this video a thumbs up. We're also gonna be talking about could receipts end completely and coupons on receipts like at CVS, those great coupons that we get. Well, let's see what's going on currently in California. A little bit of talking to do, so let's dive in. Now these are deals that are starting June 25th at CVS. We're gonna start with CoverGirl, and I'm gonna give a little bit, a couple of tips as regard in regards to this particular deal. CoverGirl this current week is buy three, get a $9 extra buck, but starting the 25th, it's gonna be buy three, get a $10 extra buck. So it is a better deal. Plus, we are getting a mystery offer coupon. Now we have insert coupons, we have printable coupons, so grab them now, and we also have digital coupons. My concern with this deal is this current week, so many people did the CoverGirl deal because it's a money maker this week as well. It's gonna be a bigger money maker next week. My concern is will there be enough product? But um, with that mystery offer coupon, you can definitely upscale your products and grab some different products that might be a little bit more pricey and still make it an amazing deal. Now, before we continue on with some more sneak peek CVS deals, we're gonna talk about another article in coupons in the news. This one's dated a way back, and I wanna thank Kelly for sending me a heads up on this article. State considers banning receipts and coupons again. So this is in California. I briefly read through this article. I'm just gonna take a moment. I guess a California lawmaker tried to restrict paper coupons before um, and it failed. So now it's back up on the table to go ahead and do this. And the bill has actually advanced to the state Senate after passing in the state assembly. So basically what it would do is restrict receipts. It would also prohibit any receipt that is printed from including non-essential to the transaction, which means like coupons, advertisements, totally get the advertisements. Um, we see those at, C at, not CVS, Walgreens, those little strips of Catalina paper that print with like deals for the week. I think those are a big waste of paper or advertisements, different things like that. But as far as coupons, I'm a little bit different in my feelings. I don't know if everyone yet is ready to turn to a digital way. Um, I know eventually it will happen, so I don't know what is the best time or when is the best time to do it. Um, but let me know your thoughts on this. So that would mean no coupons at the bottom of your CVS receipt or ads on the back of your grocery receipt. I'm fine with the no ads on the back of your grocery receipt. Now, unless stores decide to just stick with like linking your store account to get those rebates, not sure. Um, you know, I understand the reasoning to help save the earth and not waste paper and save the trees and I'm totally for that. I just think that a little bit more planning needs to be put into place. So in this digital age, customers should have options. This is the lawmaker that's trying to pass this particular bill. It doesn't make sense to kill so many trees and produce billions pounds of carbon emissions when we buy a cup of coffee or a pack of gum. Really do get that. A lot of stores, even grocery stores, they're just printing like regular coupons, which maybe instead of printing those regular coupons, you know, manufacturer coupons, they can just add them onto our store accounts. So um, I don't know if, um, if if everything played out fair, I would be fine with no digital receipts. But again, I always think of the senior error, the senior citizens and how they adapt and if they're actually using coupons. Um, I, I don't know. But um, I'm all for saving the planet for future generations. That is definitely and there's obviously some, you know, reasoning to that. So you guys let me know. I think it's a process that needs to be taken over time. We've been printing receipts for how long to just change it in a snap. I think um, it needs to be thought out a little bit. 
and um, I think if we do that and digital is set up good and everything is fair for both the retailers and the consumers I think that reducing paper um, you know is, is a good thing it's a great thing actually and I know at Walgreens I get a lot of coupons where I'm just you know tossing them but I always bring them home and recycle them in our recycling bins so let me know your thoughts on this let's check out some more early sneak peek deals all right moving on to a couple of other sneak peek deals to look out for it's CVS starting the 25th so we've really been getting a ton of deals on the Dove sprays the Dove deodorants they're going to be buy one get one 50% off and you can see that they're going to be buy two get a four dollar extra buck so not a bad deal, especially, I know a lot of people have been getting the two off two Dove deodorant or deodorant CRT. I haven't seen that one, but that's a good one to go ahead and pair. And we currently do not have any Ibotta rebates to use for this deal, but hopefully something might pop up. Oral care, there's going to be a couple of different oral care deals. Um, there's going to be a buy two, get a $5 extra buck on select oral care. And then there's going to be a buy two, get a $6 extra buck with a $2 digital coupon. So this is on Optic White, Advance, Stain Fighter, and more. Now Colgate.com I know has 75 cent printable coupons, so you could use that with one of the $2, but maybe we'll get some kind of great digital coupon to use. And because there's so many Colgate deals, if you have the three off 18 Colgate Colgate CRT, you might be able to pair it in and grab a good deal. I love this Dove hair care deal. Buy one, get one 50% off. And these Dove hair cares, I think, are $4.19 or $4.29 in store. Plus, buy two, get a $5 extra buck. So with e even without coupons, it's a great deal if you buy this product. However, we currently do not have any coupons to use on this deal, but should a digital coupon pop up, that would make for a really good deal. It could possibly be a moneymaker deal um, on this product. So keeping my eyes open, still a great deal to go ahead and take advantage of. Now, another deal that a lot of people have been asking for is the OptiFree Clear Care. Well, it looks like they're going to be regular price. So I think they're like $19.99 or they might even be in the $20 amount now. But we have a $6 digital coupon to use. Plus when you buy one, you get a $6 extra buck. So hopefully, I don't, I haven't seen an eye care solution CRT, but I did get new ones this week. So I'm hopeful that maybe something new will pop up um, and grab us some savings. Again, each week we've been getting what seems to be the Copper Tone Sun Care deal for spend 20 at a $10 extra buck. So always good to go ahead and stock up um, on these items, especially if you need them. Now, if you don't need sunscreen, don't do these deals. Wait till these products go on clearance. Always Walmart has. I that's where I tend to get my sun care clearance for the next year. Um, super cheap. All right, friends, I want to thank you for taking some time out of your day to check out this video. Couple of deals, not a ton of deals to get me lured into the upcoming week, but definitely some savings to focus in on. I hope you'll join me back on my channel for more videos, deals, and printable lists this week will be back. So definitely stay tuned. I'm feeling amazing. So I'm um, feeling better, actually, so much better than before. So thanks so much for watching and check out a couple of new videos here. Take care, guys.